Welcome back to another video guys, I've made another ship for this small collection and uh, this one I've made a lantern rigged caravel the same period as the carrick that I showed you in the last video uh, so as usual I'll go through the many stages obviously the 2D stage first so I've given this one three masts and a uh, little bow sprit at the front uh, so the frame stage here made it quite slim and I, I have actually made a, a caravel like this one before uh, but that was quite a while ago and uh, hopefully you'll see that I've improved the design quite a lot so the hull at this stage I've also made this one a little bit bigger than my old one which allows me to add a little bit more detail of course uh, so the decks at this stage uh, quite basic and the rigging whoops uh, so un unfinalized at this stage again I'm using the stained glass for certain bits of the rigging here and the sails so I decided actually to extend the, si uh, the sails downwards here which is slightly unrealistic but uh, again I'm favoring aesthetics over realism and the final stage here as you can see and I'll go over to the one in the water so again I've gone for that uh, red cross on the sail uh, sticking with this scheme uh, so start off with I will show you the rigging more detail so I've actually just decided to go for a basic fence rope at the front here rather than adding any of the glass I think that was the best choice uh, so I've kept this scheme very similar to the carrick that I showed you a month or two ago uh, disconnected gates over here there's the stern so it's not particularly realistic I've just come for a uh, exaggerated design I've tried to uh, add as much detail in there as possible um, a little hole there for the for a rod to attach the rudder so they can steer the ship uh, a couple of windows each side again that's not really realistic it wouldn't stick out that much they may have had a small window there but um, to increase the aesthetic value I've added that there I've also added these exaggerated cannon ports and uh, for the uh, rat lines I've added these boards on the side a couple of anchors either side of course and this rope again using stained glass there so I think I've matched the, the carrot quite well um, I think I've got this uh, quite close to um, where I'd like it to be I think I've done a, a good job basically uh, lifeboat on board I've actually added a um, um, I've forgotten the word I'll remember the word in a, in a minute but uh, yeah I've added quite a few de details here again I've used trap doors for the, uh, the cannons uh, a paddle that was the word I was looking for there so a paddle on the lifeboat uh, some ropes wrapped around the, the mast at the bottom here uh, a decorative, sort of a decorative door to the inner parts of the ship again a couple of cannons in here uh, this caravel actually has six cannons a uh, place where they could manoeuvre the rudder and the storage bits for some reason it's flooded over here um, but it shows you the, the value of those supports that I've added in adds a little bit more detail uh, before I upload the schematic I might add some extra boards up there and obviously fix the, the flooded but but it won't look uh, too much different obviously so stairs up here for the stack so all quite basic and a few uh, trapdoors there um, for moving storage Okay, so that's a caravel, a lantern rigged caravel. 
uh, 15th century based on the um, I think it's called the Nina Caraval there was also a square rigged version of this ship well um, I'm not sure if the hull was exactly the same but it's a it's a very similar ship but with a, a square rigged design uh, I've decided just to make this because I thought the you know the uh, lanteen rigged sails the triangular sails looked nice and uh, quite uncommon not many ships actually incorporate this design so I'm just showing you uh, this model which is exactly the same but it's angled differently um, just to give you an idea uh, just to show you the ship in a different light so that's the 15th century lanteen rigged caravel so as usual tell me what you think of the ship if there are uh, any improvements that you think I can make put those down in the comments I'll probably now build one last ship for this collection probably some sort of uh, trading ship trading cog which is a um, it will probably include two masts a uh, square sail and maybe a lanteen sail at the back so again tell me what you think of the ship guys and as usual thanks for watching